Hi, and welcome back to Virtual Reality Adventures with Dr. Betts. Today we're going to take a look at the menu bar, and we're going to discuss all the cool things the menu bar can do. First things first, though, we have to learn how to use our controllers to click, to select and click something. So, watch what happens when I aim my controller at the menu bar. Notice a white dot shows up. I can also point my left controller at it, and the white dot shows up. So if you're left-handed, you can use your left hand for this. If you're right-handed like me, I'm going to use my right hand for this. Let's say I want to click on this menu here, the Quick Settings menu. What do you do? Well, you click, you point at it, and then you click this button. Point and click. And look, the Quick Settings menu has popped up. Here you can adjust numerous things like sound and brightness and some other things we'll talk about later. But for now, that's how you click. So to close this window, I'm going to go take the white dot, point at the X, and click this button. Click. So the window goes away. Let's take a look at what some of these things do. Over here is one you'll probably click quite a bit, the app library. So let's click on that. And the app library pops up for us to look at. These are all the apps that are currently available on this particular device that I'm using. If I want to scroll down to look at the apps down below, I simply take the, there you go, take my thumb on the joystick and just push down. Make sure the dot's on the window and push down. If I want to go back up, take the thumb on the joystick and simply push up. And that's how you go up and down through a menu. Let's close this window. Take my cursor, look over here at the X, the white circles on it, click, and it closes. Here is the settings menu. This is where you get more in depth with settings. So we have all kinds of things we can manipulate from here, depending on what you want to do. Let's go over here and click x to exit here we have a web browser so if you just want to surf the web in vr you can just type into here and type in whatever you wish to search to type something in let's just say chemistry on the virtual keyboard point the white dot at the c white dot at the h and i'm clicking every time i want a letter i click this button c h e i'm going to click to get the e m i S T R Y and then search and there you go there's a Google search of chemistry white dot on the X to quit here we have the camera if you want to take a photo and I'm recording right now so my options are limited I'm recording I can also take my oculus to, to uh, do a live stream I can take a still photo of the Oculus environment, or I can cast my device to a computer. And you're probably going to want to learn how to do that, because it's a very important and a very nice feature of the Quest 3 and the Quest 2. You can cast it to a computer, so everyone else can see what you are doing. We don't worry about chats too much. The Meta Store, this icon here, you'll probably want to become very familiar with the Meta Store, because this is where you can find new apps. If you want to learn about chemistry, physics, whatever, you come in here and you point your red, uh, excuse me, your white dot at the search magnifying glass. Click it with your index finger. Remember, this is your click button, just like a mouse on a computer. And you can just type in whatever you want to search for. Of course, I'm going to search for chemistry. And there you go. There are some chemistry apps you can download and try. Let's close this. All right, guys, so that is the basic menu function and how you use your controller as a mouse to click and access things in the metaverse. Hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please slap that follow button, hit that like button, and consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help me out. And with that, I want to wish you all good luck and happy VR. See you soon.